The internet is far more mutable than we are oftentimes led to believe. We tend to think of the internet as something quite static in terms of what it brings to the table. And in this video, I'm going to be primarily commenting on a new type of format that has emerged in, in the internet in a greater sense, but also in YouTube. And that is the format of the pointless debate. Now, I am not, I should say at the outset, claiming that uh, people have not, uh, prior to this, engaged in pointless debate. Uh, pointless debates have always occurred, and people have always uh, engaged in them. This is not anything new. However, when we talk about the frequency uh, at which uh, these pointless debates take place, or the inclination to do so, I think we've actually seen some legitimate changes in the ether sphere, if you wish to call it such. Now, I can understand the notion of what is sometimes called YouTube or internet blood sport. Uh, it's undeniable that one of the most prominent examples of this in recent times and recent months is the uh, quote-unquote Andy Worski show, often accompanied by uh, Jean-Francois uh, Gary P. And I understand the popularity and I also understand why it is done. And I don't want to single out this particular uh, show, if you want to wish to call it such. But it seems that there has been a shift in zeitgeist from the belief that the internet could be impactful in some way and by delineating. Uh, either facts or uh, distributing information, it could be useful, and at least the pretense that people were trying to arrive at some sort of uh, consensus, or if not a consensus, to merely put the views out, and uh, with, with the notion that the audience might be in tune with trying to uh, comprehend those views and appreciate them. But the internet blood sport is something uh, different, the YouTube blood sport. It exists solely for its existence and solely for entertainment. Um, the people participating in the debate are not uh, particularly interested in convincing the other person. And it oftentimes degenerates to whoever shouts the loudest or speaks uh, the loudest, or most loudly, perhaps, is the better way of putting it. The internet debate, blood sports, what, however you want to term it, is, I think, something that has been primarily a negative shift away from things, at least ideals, that used to be present. Now, for example, I, for one, I used to watch uh, JF's videos, uh, sort of debunk videos, and I was interested in his knowledge in neuroscience and his background in that regard. And he's completely shifted away from that. You know, he has his reasons, and I completely understand them. Uh, Sargon, increasingly, has become less and less serious a figure. Nobody really takes him too seriously. So I want to call into question if I want to call into question the idea that this is the best way to proceed. Now, monetarily, perhaps, maybe this is the best way to make money with you know super donations, whatever you want to call them. Maybe that's the best way. Uh, but I think YouTube has actually taken a hit, a turn for the worse, in light of this internet blood sport. And we need to be aware of what the goals are in internet blood sport, apart from the monetary ones, and financial gain. It's to increase fractionalization between different groups, to increase the numbers of a particular faction and the people who belong to it, and whilst that might be an interesting and useful strategy for bolstering your numbers for future blood sport and future discussions and future forms of entertainment, long run, this does, I would argue, next to nothing uh, positive, or next to, and by positive I mean, well, you know what I mean, productive, you could say, next to nothing uh, productive that would actually lend itself to change or uh, to at least making people think. Now, 
because of the combative nature of the internet blood sport debate format, it almost necessarily precludes people uh, getting together and collaborating if they might have differentiated views. So for example, this is a common example, Sargon, the great liberalist, uh, has a certain view on immigration and he doesn't have a quote-unquote left-wing view as far as I can tell or as far as I know. It's uh, a form of controlled immigration. That might not be the world view of immigration of the outright, but it is one that is closer to the outright world view or view on immigration than is the conventional left-leaning person's view. Why not try to cooperate and to work together to promote these ideas, uh, both in, on the internet and in real life? It's said that politics makes for strange bedfellows, and it seems that the willingness uh, to engage in compromise and the willingness to actually cooperate to achieve a goal has completely disappeared and in its place exists only combativeness and trying to win quote-unquote debate points uh, in silly debates that nobody really takes seriously apart from their humor um, and the profit that they engender in the recipients of various donations. I think that long-term this is not a good direction to go in um, because there's been a precedent created, a model if you will, and this model will be replicated probably and I think it's uncontestable now that these days the internet blood sport debate is a much more common uh, feature uh, of, of internet discussion, YouTube discussion, than simple discussion and trying to tease out ideas. Now, I don't think I'm exceptional in any way, but I do try to adhere to a more discussion-based format. How you frame a discussion, whether you initially frame the discussion as something that is inherently combative, antagonistic, or you're merely having a discussion, uh, discussing points of information, introducing new information, or even learning about something, uh, this is very critical, because this will affect the audience's uh, perception, the way they receive the information. If the audience anticipates a combative internet blood sport debate, the audience is not going to be terribly interested in learning anything. In fact, most times they're going to be cued into uh, who got the most points, whatever, however ethereally these points might be defined, and not the actual content. If, on the other hand, you have a discussion about X topic, it doesn't really need to be a specific topic, about a topic that maybe some people know about and others don't know about, people will learn. Maybe people will refine their knowledge. And maybe, in many cases, and it happens to me on occasion, in the mi middle of a discussion with somebody, I will learn new things or refine my own knowledge and acquire new information. And so, even if the internet has no direct consequence of reality, as you know, IRL in real life, the best way you can help people is sound discussion that is not, uh, by its very nature, combative and antagonistic. There's nothing wrong with disagreeing, um, provided relevant and valid points are being made. And in the midst of disagreement, you can still learn things. It's not this very one-sided uh, format or form that's taken over virtually every discussion out there. And I get it. It's That sort of thing is not as entertaining as some far-left guy who's debating some far-right guy or what have you. But if we're truly serious about having any sort of value uh, to a public in terms of the information we provide, uh, we need to think about our presentation, our format, uh, our platform, and how, how, in the most general sense, we present ourselves uh, to the world. There is a time and place for debate, it's a, you know, it's a time-honored tradition. But what we have these days on YouTube and throughout the Internet is not debate. It is very much a, a blood sport, a, a dogfight. And uh, people are just reveling in their dopamine kicks uh, and the blood they can observe. And the people engaged in it are reveling in the profit. I totally get that, but it will lead nowhere and I think increasingly the YouTube 
you could say cognitive scene has grown uh, very thin and I just wish we could have a return to if not innovation then civil discussion and trying to understand things the best of our capacity so that we content producers uh, can understand better the world we live in and the audience can too uh, that is my sincere wish uh, you could look at this video as a type of admonition to the perpetrators of internet debate blood sport and I will uh, in my own passive civil way rail against this uh, this tide this trend that has arisen increasingly in the past half year everyone thanks for tuning in until then assuming I'm still alive I will check you out later uh, you take care and enjoy the rest of your week bye bye If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoy my content, please consider making a donation or becoming a patron. Thanks for watching.